Hello. So there's not much to say about this one other than, as the title says, this is the stupidest thing I've ever painted. I thought it's been a while since I've actually done a video. It's been a while since I've painted anything on the garage wall. There are a few projects that I've started and not seen through, but it's been so long since I've just done something on the wall, filmed it and put it on YouTube that I thought I'll just do whatever comes into my head. I had a look at what paints I had because normally what I'll do when I have an idea is I'll go on Graph City and or wherever and I'll buy different colours of cans based on what it is that I'm specifically painting. Obviously, so for Rocky, I bought lots of blacks, whites, transparent blacks, etc. But for this, I thought I'll, I've, I've just got loads of half cans. I've got loads of cans that I've not used yet. So I just thought, right, what colour have I got? lot of and there was a lot of green so what can I do what can I do with green there's lots of things you know the world is green grass is green trees are green the walls behind me are green you see masking tape up there actually I'm not really really bad at painting that's just this is a work in progress still needs another coat that's why there's still masking tape I've actually only put that picture which is that's a collection of our son's paintings from nursery that we've just kind of cut a square out of each one and put it into a frame uh, but I've only I've literally only just put that back up for the purpose of this video because it looked a bit bare anyway that's a tangent so yeah lots of things are green a lot of characters are green you know you've got Kermit the Frog you've got Yoshi Luigi for that matter Oscar the Grouch you know there's loads of people that I could use green on but let's be honest when you think of green fictional characters there's only one man or ogre who comes to mind isn't there so here he is it ain't gonna be pretty Okay, so I've just added some of uh, the transparent black and it is <laughs> coming on. It's coming on quite well, actually. A little bit unsure about having um, a, a fairly realistic Shrek on the garage wall, but it's pretty funny, let's be honest.
So I'm quite happy with that. It's quite nice to have, not have a plan or a rigid task that I've set myself. You know, a lot of the times when I'm doing these paintings, it's because I want to test out my ability to shade or work with stencil or different types of paint or, you know, color work and stuff. So it was nice to just grab a few paint cans and just paint whatever came into my head and see it evolve as, as I went along. You know, I made different stylistic decisions as I as I went along. The shading kind of evolved into a bit of a darker experiment with transparent black and then I went with the, the bold black outlines. It was kind of like trying to find my style of how I would paint something like that because obviously it's not a one-to-one -one representation or reproduction of Shrek. It's my own kind of interpretation, kind of limited to the colours I had. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy, quite happy with how it, how it turned out. I think I'm getting better. I think, you know, there's depth to it. I'm happy for that to be on our garage wall. I'm not sure the wife is though. But yeah, Shrek. <laughs>